welcome to the Sneaker Podcast, a show where a bunch of guys sit around a table to talk life, lifestyle, music, and all things sneakers. So sit back, turn it up, and let's go. What up, TST family? Hope you're going to have a dope day, and thank you for tuning in. This is the Sneaker Podcast, Season 8, Episode 25. My name is Chris Chu, and he is the two aficionado, but number one in your hearts. What is up, Sean? Hey, now. And he is the six-shooter from the Midwest. He goes by 40, but really, he's just Calby. What is up, Cal? Gentlemen, what's going on? What's going on? And he is hailing from downtown Canada, girl dad extraordinaire, by way of CGS. What is up, Alvin? What is up, fellers? Fellers. Hmm. Fellers. Fellers. And uh, as always, the Sneaker Podcast is brought to you by your favorite organic sneaker cleaner, Sneaker Logic. You could use our coupon code TSP15. Check them out on Instagram at sneakerlogic underscore official. They got the wipes. They got the brushes. They got the cloth. They got the solution. What's the question? I don't know. They got the solution. Mm. 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 Lingettes. <laughs> they, have got, they got lingettes. Oh, like linguettes. <laughs> <laughs> Moist linguettes. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's start the podcast like we always do with what you're planning on wearing tomorrow. Brought to you by Quality. As always, you can use our coupon code at quality.com. SPOD20 gets 20% off your order. Works on sale items. Very fast shipping for North America. Uh, guys, what are you planning to wear tomorrow? Who wants to start it off? I'll I can start it off. I'll jump oh. in. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. let's all talk at the same time. One, two. <laughs> all right, go for it, Alvin. Okay. Uh, so weather is getting cold mm. everywhere pretty much now. Um, so I've gone from fitteds to beanies. Mm. So I'm currently, uh, well, tomorrow I plan on rocking it, but I have another color, the green one. It's the uh, quality essential beanie. Um, yeah. And I like to rock it like a fisherman hat, I guess you could say, where I, I kind of roll it up twice so it doesn't cover my ears because I don't like my ears warm, apparently. Mm-mm. And then um, I'm going to rock my um, – it's like that navy Sherpa vest with the waves on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember what it's called, but it's swaggy. And yeah. then I have my navy blue um, utility pant. Yeah. And then I'll probably rock uh, – a pair of New Balance 550 just because it's office and, oh, you know, office. I want to rock something that people will know, but people don't have because it's right. the ALD pair. Yeah, yeah. Fair. Yeah, there you go. Sean, how about you? Um, On feet, I'm going to think, I think I'm going I'm to undes my uh, Nike Air Mac attacks or just Nike Mac attacks or just Nike attacks, whatever they're called in the OG colorway, mm-hmm. the black and gray ones. Uh, I haven't worn those yet. I'm going to wear those to work tomorrow and I'm going to wear some uh, destroyed denim uh the blue color and uh i think i'll just wear a simple uh perfect hoodie with that black perfect a black perfect hoodie is is um hoodie season is past would you agree oh yeah 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 that's not all i'm wearing (laughs) that's not all i'm wearing Uh, yeah it's but it's not cold enough i don't think for me it's not cold enough for like a winter jacket for like a you know the the uh, the down parka i'm not wearing that yet yeah the vegan down just all of a sudden they said no We've yeah. had enough of hoodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're Here in like Montreal, bust sure. out the, the yeah. heavy jackets. But I think I'll just I'll, I'll top that off with my um, my uh, Varsity 2.0 uh, jacket. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Swaggy. I like that. That uh, is- everybody loves that jacket. Everywhere I go, people. And that's not even no bullshit. Just for the the, the pod, I'm a lot of people love that jacket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I get compliments yeah. everywhere I go or when I wear that. Do you jacket. find it uh, makes you look younger? More. I don't know. Like, I don't know how yeah. I look. I feel I feel old, so that's how I feel I look. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I look. How it makes me look? I have no idea. I but like it. I got compliments. So that's a good thing. I guess that's a good thing. Maybe it's it's a compliment to you know Koala. He's saying maybe they do make me look mm-hmm. younger. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right, Cal. Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, perfect hoodie. It's a uh, older one um, in the uh, dusty pink, I believe they call it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's a uh, it's got a little lavender tint to it, and uh, well, 
maybe it doesn't, but it does when I bring uh, this pair out. And it's the, um, what's even the name of it now? I can't even remember the name of it. It's the like whitish and lavender Ronnie Feig A6 Gel Light 3s um, from the palette pack. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Say all this, there's like 40 names, right? How are you supposed yeah, to remember all these? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I do, I do know it. I just, for whatever reason, right now, I'm drawing a blank. I'm pretty sure it starts with an A, and I just keep thinking like Apocalypse, Avengers, mm. and it's it's neither of those for sure. Um, but uh, but that's what I'm gonna wear. Um, because it's it's got a bit nicer here in Calgary mm-hmm. and uh, melted the snow away. So the snow is gone. So I want to wear something nice. nice while I have the chance. And I'm also only going to the grocery store. So I'm not going to be walking around too, too much. So I figure it's safe to bring out these, this very dangerous white suede pair. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to rock, rock some uh, destroyed denim with those as well. Um, because that's, what I usually always wear to be completely same, same here. <laughs> <laughs> My go to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, word. I I have like I got like probably like six or seven pairs of oh, faulty jeans. Same, yeah. And um, I I rotate like three of them uh-huh. heavy, <laughs> like heavy, <laughs> and then I'll break in the other ones. Like so do I. The, it's the only denim I wear. Like if I, if I got denim pants on, they're yeah. quality, one hundred percent. Yeah, but yeah. three of them stay in rotation like yeah. nuts. Like, I have the, the blue <laughs> denim I'm wearing tomorrow is very, very, almost identical to another pair of blue denim, destroyed blue <laughs> denim. That I, have. I have two that are almost identical, and then I have a black pair and a uh, like a navy pair. And uh, yeah, those are, and I have other ones too, other denim as well from them. But it's, it's, I, those, the destroyed denim is like Calby is heavy in my rotation. <laughs> yeah. They're I even don't... more destroyed than they were when, when I first got them. <laughs> I, know, I, I get kind of happy. I, I put a little, I put yeah. a little rip in one of them. Like, yeah. Like I like bent my knee too much or something like that, mm. and it like ripped a little bit more. And I was like, "Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't buy them like this." And like that's the first one. And the, like I said, I'm wearing these for a couple years now, like heavy. When yeah, when I pack to go on a trip, it's like those three pairs of pants, and that's it. Like yeah, they're so good. That's all I bring. They're yeah. so I don't, good. I don't wear a lot of denim. But the only denim I will wear is a uh, quality denim because it, mm-hmm. it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's like stretchy. It's a bit stretchy. Yeah, it's not rigid. Yeah. It is very stretchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And maybe maybe uh, spandex like comfort a bit too much. Maybe I like the <laughs> you know I don't know. Uh-huh. That's very comfortable. Oh so, yeah. Yo, it changed it changed my whole my my whole fits. Like since the first pair I got, um, which was just like a. Uh, a light in wash or whatever. Like, I, I don't want to say distressed, but like a faded blue. They had no mm. holes in the knees or anything like that. Chris picked them up for me one time. And uh, at, since then, that's all, that's all I wear. It changed yeah. everything. I don't like my joggers don't ever come out mm. ever, 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 ever since then. And that's all I used to wear. It was joggers. And then Chris got me a pair of these quality jeans and that's, that's it now. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, on the same tip of my go-tos as Calby, my go-tos is the uh, essential jogging pants, sweatpants from Quality. I have green, I have a black. Tomorrow I'm going to be wearing black. Um, I'm going to be wearing a a crew neck on top. It's going to be a pink lashes crew neck. Mm. So it's Blast from the Past was one of their previous collections where like you guys like that your destroyed denim, but well, this uh-huh. crew neck and hoodie that's part of the collection have like it's distressed on top. Oh, I have like that one. Also. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it's sick. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And uh, I recently just like kind of tidied up my closet to just t- take inventory of what mm-hmm. I had. Whew. So much goodness from Koala. Yeah. 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 Um, with those, I'm going to be wearing my uh, white cement threes. Been wearing them heavy. This is the 2013 pair. Mm, like nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's not, it's pre-vintaged. No. Pre- <laughs> it's post-vintaged. <laughs> vintage. It's not vintage yet. It's pre- Yeah, it's pre-vintaged yeah. and now it's becoming vintaged. That's right. I'm gonna, <clears throat> that's the goal. That's the goal. So I'm going to be wearing that and uh, I think I will, I, I'm going to be driving most of the time. I have, a, I have an errand to run. Mm. It's actually sneaker related. I'm actually... Uh, 
trading sizes. Nice on a pair of Kobe Eight Halo. Mm, very nice. So very nice. Uh, just going. We're kind of going into uh, flooding our feet a bit, but like uh, off the hook, a boutique here in uh, Montreal. For some reason, had their Kobe Eight Halo release like last week, last weekend. Nice. Like it's out of out of the loop. I'm like, what's what? Why are they releasing them so late? Anyways, mm-hmm. they had like an in store first, and any remaining pairs would go online. But there's no pairs <laughs> remaining. Oh, no, for sure. Right? And then I was like, oh well, let me just pay attention to the Facebook groups, the local Facebook groups, because then you know whoever's trying to sell them will be posting them there real quick. And there was a guy, he he had like the size I prefer, a 10.5. And I have a 10 in that, Kobe 8, which uh, he was going, I'll sell them for like 420 or trade for a size 10 if someone has. Oh, nice. So I'm like, God, this nice. is perfect. So I hit him up. Um, I don't deal with Facebook groups often just because I don't know, man. I've, I've maybe if you have like a bad experience, you don't want to mm-hmm. go back to there. Yeah, so just the dealing and chatting with people. I'm like, yeah, but uh, this guy was pretty cool. So he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, no problem. He's like, and I, that's happening tomorrow t- tonight. I said, I go, hey, are we still on for tomorrow? He's like, yeah, man, super excited. I'm like, that's cool. That's refreshing. Yeah, so, no uh, doubt. Yeah, so that's happening tomorrow. So it's just a quick errand. I don't think I need a jacket but I'll probably just throw the varsity jacket in the car mm-hmm. in case of. That's it. Avalanche. They're called the avalanche. Mm. Avalanche. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, very nice wares brought to you by Quality, guys. Um, let's move on to our favorite segment of the show. It's called New Edition. If it mm. is in love. Okay. I mean, it does it be this way? Uh, anybody got something? A little mm-hmm. something, something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Yeah. Sean? I'll go. All right. Uh, I had a, I had a, I haven't been on in like, it's like three weeks, I think. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have a, I don't have a ton. I have, I have a few pairs, but, uh, I have a, I have a, like a, a, a nasty story. <laughs> I've, Uh-oh. like, it was one of those, one of those weeks where I was like, one one purchase after another was like I sh- it was like a mistake, <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe not a mistake, okay. <laughs> but it's like I got I had like oh I'll I'll, I'll I'll explain what they are and then you can tell me whether or not I'm overreactive. I don't think I am. It's it's just it's just annoyances. It's just like one of the things that we, yeah, you go through a little phase where it's like oh you know what uh, these were unnecessary purchases and uh, you'll see. So anyway, this this first one is a fine purchase. This is this is way back and I got this a while ago and I don't think I talked about it on the pod before, but uh the Air Jordan 8 in the playoff colorway. Ooh, uh, right nice. Yeah. So I got those um on the release date from uh Quartz Sneakers. Thank you very much, Nathan. Very um cool. and uh red tab, red pull tab is back. First time since 1993. That was very cool. Very happy with those. Uh and then um so I had entered a raffle. I can't talk about the sneakers. This, this, this new edition will be added. Uh, it's not. It's in the mail currently, but right. I'll, I'll explain what happened. I entered a raffle, um, and the day of the the draw came. I got no email. Uh, the next day, no email. So I thought, okay, well, I guess I lost the raffle. Uh, so I thought, you know what? There's some funds freed up. Let me go oh. spend something. <laughs> yeah. And, and the boys were talking about these uh, panda dunks in our chat. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so I I went ahead and Chris sent a link for the nor- the the at normal. They had the panda dunks, and the women's the women's panda dunks, the vintage version of the panda dunks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I actually really like. So I actually got those. Really? I, I I bought them on the spot, uh, and they came the next day. Uh, so nice. I got those. If you can see you can see yeah. them on uh, YouTube if you're watching. Um, very, very nice. Love them. However, the, uh, the, the day vintage after is that, nice. the vintage is very nice, and the leather is very, very nice and 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 soft. And I would, I mean, it yeah. says premium on the box. I don't know if it's premium. I but, like it. I like uh, it. Very, very nice. I really like the look of them. Uh, but the very next day, they went on sale for twenty five percent off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so there's that. I also sent that link. <laughs> and 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 uh, the day after, I I well, I got them in the mail. Uh, I found out I won the raffle, so there fr- so I, there's more money that went up because oh, <laughs> oh. it was one of the it was one of those they automatically charge your credit card oh, raffles. Yeah, okay, okay. So that That's was like two hundred, almost almost five hundred bucks in a day, uh, four hundred bucks in a day, um, and then 
another thing happened where I thought, you know what? I was this was before I this was like right after I got the dunks or I I, I not got them in hand but purchased them. I was not, I got like it got good to me because the dunks were only like 165 bucks Canadian. It's not that big of a deal. And then one of my my friends uh, Corey at Ijapino, who's out in California, and his local shop Phenom has a, a global um, uh, a global site also. And he sent me a link. They were selling them uh, the the uh, Air Jordan One Low and the uh, white and uh, natural gray, neutral, neutral gray, whatever yeah, they're called. Natural. Neutral, yeah. They call them neutral. It used to be natural anyway. Uh, Though they had them on sale for, or for sale, and he's like, "There's they're shipping to Canada, so we yeah, oh. have at it." I'm like, "Yeah, you know what? Why not? I just bought a pair of Dunks. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I didn't win the raffle for the other pair of sneakers. Uh, I bought them, and that same afternoon, I think it was the same afternoon, I got this one of those promo emails from Stay Fresh, which is a reseller shop here in Canada. And they're stay weird. Fresh, yeah, they stay have, fresh. They have resale, but they also have retail. Also have one time. Yeah. Sometimes they have new, new, yeah, new stock. Um, and they had they had the Jordan One Low eighty five uh for five dollars cheaper than retail. Yeah. So I right away I've so the the the, the price I paid for the shop in California was two twenty five Canadian, not too bad. Plus shipping, so it came to two fifty six Canadian. That's not that bad considering uh then uh, the couple days later i got um so i was but i was pissed that i could have gotten it even cheaper through stay fresh which yeah. is right here in canada because i knew i was going to get hit with import fees right uh because those of you who no. live in canada know the the yeah. woes of yeah. the import fees uh, fiascos so then i get a uh an email from and all kinds of alerts from ups uh saying i owe duty uh, and the duty I'm owing is one hundred and thirty seven dollars Canadian, yeah, everybody. That's crazy. Jeez, on a two hundred and twenty four dollar pair of sneakers, which is absolutely ridiculous. So um I decided that this was gonna be my first time ever clearing the package myself. So I hit mm -hmm. the boys up in the group chat and I hit Chris up uh, privately, didn't know where to go and all that shit. Uh and I figured out how to uh how to do that, how to take care of the clearing and the shipping uh myself, clearing the duty myself. Or the customs, um, so UPS sent me a, a, the documents and the and via email that I had to bring to the Canada Customs office. I located one that was right about maybe 15, 20 minutes from my house. Okay, nice. Which was perfect. Nice. I wasn't sure if it, like I was I was nervous and until I got in there and they told me yeah I can do that there I was nervous. I was like uh -huh. am I gonna have to like run around the city trying to figure out where it gets? The other thing they don't tell you is they give you forty eight hours to clear this thing in customs. So oh, like wow. I'm not sure. Yeah, they get 48 hours from the time you receive the email from them. Uh, so I ran, I went to this place, and they they're like, "Yes, we do it, but you don't have the right the right documents. Oh. Like you you have the right documents, but I need we need proof of what you paid. Like they because the form that UPS gives you, they can write oh, anything the on receipt. there. Receipt. So they, they need the invoice oh. from their from the oh. actual the, the store. store? So and they need and, and they needed doubles of all the 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 documents I had. Oh my god! So gosh. I had to. They they're like, uh, here's he handed guy handed me a, the customs guy handed me a, a piece of paper. He's like, here's some instructions. That we don't we don't do the printing here in office, but you can go and uh, here's a place where you can do it. I'm thinking it's a place in this big warehouse office building that I'm in, and the, and the, the instructions literally said, uh, Google <laughs> Google search. Printing services in Dorval, Quebec. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's crazy. So, like, basically, bro. go to a Staples or something and get it printed. Yeah. So I literally just drove home and printed it from my house because I'm not gonna like start paying for now. I mean, I paid for gas, but I'm not gonna go start paying for printing. So I, I did. I, I printed. I came home. I printed out all the documents I needed. I went back. I went this to this empty, completely empty, empty customs office. Yep. I had him all my stuff. He goes, okay, I'm satisfied with this. I'm satisfied with what you've given me. And then uh, it went down from $137 Canadian to $79 Canadian, which is still a lot of money. Nice. That is but still a lot. It's still that's a lot a, of money. That's but a good that's 60 the, bucks. It's they hit me with the not only the, the tax. So we, we pay 15% tax here in, in Quebec. They also hit me with du duty fees. Mm -hmm. So he didn't just make me pay tax. He, he hit me with, so it was $40 in tax and $40 in duty fees. So it was almost, yeah. uh, almost $40 in duty fees. Uh, so seventy nine dollars altogether. So all that to say, uh, I paid, I way overpaid for these <laughs> Jordan One Lows. Uh, and plus, it seems like I'm looking now. I'm seeing every friggin' store has them now. They're oh, they're, no. they're launching on Saturday. Uh, uh, Courtside has them. Normal has uh -huh. them. You you name it, they're everywhere. 
So uh, I jumped the gun. I thought, you know what? It might be. I didn't know how hard they were going to be to get. I took a chance yeah. and I and it failed. It failed. But I'm happy to have them. Here they are. For those of you watching on YouTube. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Long story yeah. short. They actually, that's a, that's a crazy thing. So I went and did all that stuff at the, the customs office today. And I, it, and then I, I sent off the stuff, the whatever the thing they stamped the paper, and I got a, I had to scan that and, and send it back to UPS, and I got an email saying they they okay they'll they'll process it now, and then I'm having just after I finished supper tonight, the doorbell rings, and then the shoes showed up at my door, so I huh. guess they were they, they was that fast that the that guy was just and, waiting at the end of your guess, street. He's man. waiting. He's waiting at <laughs> yeah. the warehouse. Uh, anyway, lesson learned: don't be impatient. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I get it though. I get why you you want to pull the trigger sometimes yeah yeah and once that yeah. thought creeps yeah. into your head you can't get rid of that thought no like, you're like, oh, am i doing the what right if thing? what if the... what if yes. what if yeah, i yeah, miss yeah, out yeah. what if they're hard to get you know and this yeah, is a sure thing i had that with the uh salehi yurts mm. Mm. i copped off salehi's page real quick and then his his uh shipping was very expensive and then i got hit with duties too and uh I think I overpaid about seventy bucks for them. Mm. Hmm. So. Yeah, I overpaid by a solid hundred and something dollars. Because <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, livestock got them and they sat. I think Damn. even a couple oh, of them yeah. went on sale. Yeah. Damn. Um, I wonder. I, I makes it makes me wonder how Stay Fresh got these, and and has them five dollars cheaper than than retail. Uh, and but I'm thinking maybe because if I looked, I looked at my pair, and I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on on camera. But it's hard to line them up. But the one shoe is noticeably taller than the other shoe. Huh. It's hard. I know it's hard yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah. I can see the one that you're holding. It's, hard, it's easier to see. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if there's that. It's like a defect. And so they're like, and like every store has them. And it's like, it's some stores were selling them early. And I don't know. Maybe there's or something going on. Maybe they know, they knew that, you know, every shop is going to get these. Mm. Let's just try to sell out ours. And just like yeah, maybe drop it by five. Maybe, months. maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. True. Maybe Marcus Jordan gave him to him for cheaper. Oh yeah. The back door. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, stay be. fresh. Could you be. we still good? We still good Could for be. tomorrow? Yeah. Shipping. <laughs> yeah. But I did. I did get a nice Phenom Global pin. Everybody, oh, this is nice. They threw that in the box. It was very nice. Yeah. That's that's worth the extra hundred bucks. Ooh. Yeah. At least wow. at least ten of it. <laughs> <laughs> that much? <laughs> a, pin, a pin will run you ten bucks. Yeah, easily. Really? Man. Okay. Nice ones are like twenty. Okay. Well, um maybe this will make you feel better for all all that you've gone through, Sean. We got a yeah. message from one of our listeners. I know sometimes we keep them for the back end of the episode, but this mm. is kind of like on point. It's from uh, Biggie S'mores. Yes. Another pod. Yo, fam, I'm so glad you guys came to the Panda Dunks defense. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought they were a great shoe. How do you hate on a black and white dunk? It's clean and goes with everything. Also, I think Calby is onto it. Reseller started the all the all the slander. They started all the slander, he says. I will say though, I went a solid three years without rocking the all white AF ones because it was the official shoe of basic girls everywhere. <laughs> anyway, as always, keep it up. You guys are great, and I look forward to listening every week. Peace and much love to you. Very nice, very nice. Uh, you, you know, yeah. approved by Big Smore. No, I'm very, very happy with the uh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. these panda dunks. I'm not uh, not hating on them. I'm just uh, yeah, Good it's pick. just a, unfortunate when you buy them and the next day they go on sale. Mm. <clears throat> I I almost bought them off that sale. I'm I'm trying very hard to restrain uh, from buying mm. sneakers right now because. I went spending crazy for uh, a few weeks. So, mm -hmm. but the vintage look is like very nice to me. Nice, like that's that's the it part. Is. Like the the regular one, I'm like, yeah, the pandas are cool. I don't really care. Like, you know what I mean? I don't hate on them. They're they're cool. Yeah. But then I see the vintage ones, and I'm like, oh, the midsole, those bro. are nice. Honestly, right? that's I'm not. I, I'm going to be hypocrite for saying this because that's I used to be like slam on you know pre vintage stuff, and now I have a bunch of it. But uh, this this really did sell me. It really did. Yeah. It makes gives them a little extra texture or something or some you know the even the, the, the neutral ones too, though. Sean. What's that? I do think the leather is different from. Oh, it is. It uh, is. I'm sure it is. Yeah. 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 yeah it yeah. does. It looks different as well. The leather, the black leather. Yeah, like yeah. looks noticeably different yeah. to me yeah. from yeah, yeah. pictures I've it's seen. Got some but... shine to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit it's of sheen, shine. You know? little sheen, yeah. little softness. Little yeah, sheen, very nice. Sunshine. Maybe I'll uh, wear these tomorrow instead. Maybe I'll instead of instead of the other mm -hmm. stuff. 
Uh, Those will yes. match anything you wear. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. That's true. How can you, how true. can you hate on a black and white dunk? How can you hate? Yeah. Can you says hate? It's like Morris. trying to hit on a white on white Air Force One, bro. Like exactly. <laughs> There's really no point. Hates on that. Basically, I mean, it's like, it's like I mean, a global phenomenon there. White yeah. White Air Force One. Yeah. Literally, yeah. it's yeah. been around for so long. Ever. Forever. But anyway. Yeah. Um. Who else? Cal, you got something? I got uh some adjacent. Yeah. Um, so I had a, uh, I, I picked up some hats from, I'm a hat guy now, just by yeah, the way, also this saying, is Nikki Birch, you can get that pro <laughs> image. Um, but yeah, so I, I hit up still and, uh, because they had, uh, some stuff I needed, didn't have in the collection and stuff like that. Uh, I got this toothpaste tea. That's the name of the logo for the people. Cause it looks like toothpaste. Oh. It's like the nickname. Uh, I don't have this logo and they put it on a nice, like, uh, green, like an olive green with some beige and white, uh, flannel. And so, you know, I need that for the winter. Um, mm. it's got, got the nice, uh, beige underbrim. Are you saying that the, that the hat world also has nicknames for their stuff? Oh yeah. Toothpaste yeah. tea. <laughs> yeah. This is the toothpaste tea. Yeah. So. Damn. I thought yeah, the sneaker world yeah. was only the ones that are. Oh no, bro! Yeah, nicknames. this is no, no, no. This the bro. What you learn stuff? The hat stuff guy. <laughs> they got a lot of stuff, man. A lot, a lot of stuff. Uh, I, like, love oh, it. I love the it. sneaker world is just in the minor leagues. Mm. They go oh, with yeah, black, red, yeah. bread, bread. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought toothpaste though? Toothpaste. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Toothpaste tea. Um, nice. Yeah. Then. Um, I got this uh, beautiful olive, all cord, uh, Montreal uh, Expos hat, That's stadium nice. side patch. Got the gold trim with the beige. It's another fall look. Mm-hmm. And again, it's uh, I don't have an all cord hat, so uh, I really wanted that. And it's a, uh, it's also in fall colors, so cord fall. You know, mm-hmm. even in the winter because I uh, I don't wear beanies in Quick the winter question. like Alvin. Yep. If you're wearing a cord hat, can you wear cord pants? I don't know. Someone I, someone was saying like cord no, on cord. But someone said I, no. I think it's, yeah, like someone was talking about it before that the I, I forget who it was. Was that you, Chris? Did you mention that before? No. No. I talked to someone about it. I don't remember who it was. We, um oh no, that's it was uh my my friend's son, uh second year university kid just so you know the age that i'm talking about Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, i wore it over to their house and he saw me and uh, he's like i love cord hats but i always wear cord pants so i won't buy one Mm, there you go Um, that's the verdict yeah so i don't have any cord pants except for my like micro cord uh utility pants from quality and those i don't think will uh clash at all so i plan on wearing them together because they're very uh fall colors even though it's already winter here um <laughs> yeah <laughs> i still get in that fall uh, outfit um this one i believe they call it the angry bird yeah i can see the that. name of this yeah uh, i can see that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's got the Jay's script across the front. It's in like a, a burnt orange or something, burnt cinder maybe with a, with a brown. I don't know the names of these stuff, but it's another really nice fall hat. Jay's script. Uh, it's got some gold metallic hits on it. Very nice. Um, and then they threw this one in too, which is a still A-frame with the still branded S on the front. And it, an A-frame is a snapback for people mm-hmm. that are uh, listening and don't know, and it comes with a pre curved brim and it's got the little still hit on the back above the, uh, above the snaps. And I don't think this is released. So oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. That's why, that's why I wanted to show this one off. It's uh, my first a frame hat from uh, new era. And I'm stoked because uh, I wanted to buy, actually, they just are re- just released or just were releasing fitteds with the uh, Fitted, still yeah. S logo on it. And now it saved me fifty dollars because now I'm just gonna be happy with this one. Yeah, um, cool. <laughs> so uh, shout out to Still, man. They're uh, they're awesome, man. Canada's finest, right there. Nice. Um, yeah. I have one more thing to talk about, and this is uh, big for me. If uh, you follow me on Instagram, you already know. Um, if you don't, then like, I guess you hate me. Um, just kidding. Um, 
the hats I did, I did, ha- I did hats with uh, Leon, Leon in the lab, and Pro Image Sports released them. So they've released. Um, this is the first hat, which we just call the freestyle because we literally just freestyled this hat. It's in a maroon. It's got metallic uh, blue and red on it with copper hits around it. It's got a light, like I think sky blue under visor mm-hmm. uh, on it. Metallic hits all over the place with the 1991 Toronto uh, patch on it. White button on the top. Um, comes with a cool Leon in the lab pin. Oh, nice. Super happy, man. It's super cool to get. You know, like I, I made this and it released in a store. I, man. I like it <laughs> a lot, man. It's very, very nice. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. It actually, yeah. yo, when, when, if you saw my pictures, it goes with the Varsity 2.0. I was going to say. <laughs> Insane. It's, it, it's I was going to say that's match. what you were. For, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And especially like with that white button on the top too, that was not planned to match the jacket, but that white button with the white arms mm-hmm, on the jacket. Mm-hmm, ooh, mm-hmm. It's money. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure if it, Promage Sports won't even let you look at their like. Shout out to them, love you guys very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. But they won't even let Canadians look at their web page. Yeah. Um, oh man. Canada's blocked your your IP address or whatever is blocked. Yeah. You can't go see it. Mm. Um. So I actually like got my friend to order because I only had one uh, one of each, and I'll get into the second one in a second. Um. I only had one of each. They sent me, and uh, so I had to get my buddy in Phoenix to uh buy me one more of each because i want one to rock and one to stock yeah sure and uh he also frequents out here so he's bringing it to me so i don't have to worry about any duties thank goodness um and this is the second one that i did which is a new york mets styled like the salmon toe ronnie feig uh whichever gel light you want to call it gel light five gel light three gel gel light made in japan um but yeah, so it's got it's got a uh, navy crown with a pink brim, clean uh, New York Mets logo in the front. Didn't do anything to that. Didn't do anything to the side patch either because uh, I wanted that to look OG and just be a nice, clean, simple hat. Gray undervisor and uh, yeah, um, like <laughs> very nice. <laughs> I mean, I've been sitting sitting on my couch with with these two hats in my hand for the last week or so, however long I've had them, just looking at them. And uh, I think they came like the day after our our pod last week, mm-hmm. and I was just like, man, like I got I got to see these. Like I I got I can't wait to talk about them on the pod. Like and <laughs> we, we released another show, me and uh, Leon uh about it happening and he got me unboxing them when i first saw them and um yeah so i've been i've been very very excited about this i'm super happy it went down um again thank you to leon and pro image sports because yeah it was a big deal for me i'm very yeah. happy that's awesome. i hope they're gone i hope they're sold out like, like i can't tell you if they are if you're if you're american and you like them go check it out or if you want to just check it out for fun go check it out um, but I don't know if they're there or not. <laughs> we need to, we need to get it like a VPN. They, uh, service, they right? weren't in Florida cause I was in Florida trying to cop both. Hmm. Oh yeah. They weren't yeah. in the pro image there. I was very pissed off. I was like, dude, you guys need to fix your shit. Cause I want my boy's hats. And they were like, yeah. sorry, sir. And I was like, it's all right. Have a great day. But I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate right? you, bro. Um, I, I, think it was on- <laughs> I think it was online only. Because uh, it was a deal oh, with uh, Pro Image Sports Colorado. Okay. And uh, so I think they just put them online only. Um, oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. But I appreciate but you. Also not. Thank you. Yeah. I got you, bro. You already know. Hmm. Um, is that it, Kyle? Any more, any more dope fitted? No, or? Yeah. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Uh, so like Brother Sean, I haven't been here for weeks. Um, but I'm pretty sure you, a couple of... Uh, new additions i have chris showed um so it's the curry future curries uh and then i also got i'm gonna say the same thing i told chris about that shoes you made a dope reel for that (laughs) thanks bro i appreciate you um and then the uh puma mb03 the toxic pair i love this colorway by the way yeah it's the pink, bro. Like the pink just hits, and then like everything else just goes mm, so good. Oh! They remind me, 
Hold up. Oh, I'm sorry, out I'm of stock. Out of stock. stock. How come, how come you can log into well, that, man? Out of stock. <laughs> it's called a VPN. Yeah, how, oh, you do oh, have a VPN. Oh, that's what yeah. I need. Yeah, the yeah. Mets, is, Mets out is out of stock. It's sold out. Woo! Nice, bro. John just showed us the ProMage uh, website on yeah. camera. So how about the other yeah, cat? Cal. Looking, looking, looking for the other one now. Don't type it's toothpaste. Big, it's big, bro. Toothpaste. Don't type toothpaste. Toothpaste tea. Um, okay, it's not toothpaste. What do I look? What do I look? No, no, no. It's just Blue Jays. You might, might be. Uh, or no, that might throw for a loop too. Maybe that was the first one. I, I typed in New York Mets. That was the first thing that popped up. Was that hat? And it, it said sold out. Crazy, it's because it sold out. I, it was I maroon. Believe, the other one, right? Maroon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I believe that's the first New York Mets hat to ever sell out. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> you know. You know why I picked the Mets. Because with the uh, salmon toe theme and Ronnie is from Queens. Mm. Ah, That's why I picked the ah, match. Smart. Yeah. Love that. Still looking. Still looking. Sorry to cut you off, Alvin. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Oh, you're good, bro. Yeah, just go, uh, go, go, go out. Just keep go going. And then if you I, can, I, I'll you'll break in with I'll, I'll breaking news. Sure <laughs> again. Yeah, breaking news. Um, Adidas fam sent me over the Simpsons. Um, Ooh, oh, nice. with the That's cool. The Homer on the back. That hit's pretty cool. It's probably my favorite part of the shoe, but it's also pre-vintage, like uh, like the dunk set. Yeah. Nice. Yes. And then uh, Puma sent over the Pleasures collab, which is pretty oh, cool. Wow. It's like a techie runner, but also like not really. Pretty cool. Pretty sleek. That's cool. It's very like on on uh, what's the what's the word on trend? I guess on trend. Yeah. yeah. Very white. Yeah. On, like very. Yeah. That's what I- Right? That's that's, that's what, what I yeah, heard. That Y2K, style is that's a good one. Y2K, yeah. yeah. That's actually a really I like good. One. What, <laughs> I like I like that uh I like what Pleasures does. I don't have any of their stuff, but uh I like a bunch of it. Yeah, yeah they have I have some of their apparel, like their shorts. I have a pair of their shorts, a couple of their tees and huge fan of uh, Pleasures, man, so good stuff. Word. Man. Yeah. What about you, Chris? Um yeah, I got two pairs here. So I also received the uh, Puma MB3 uh, Toxic colorway. Oh. But, but they sent it to me not in a shoebox. They sent it to me in this big, like, toxic, like, oil drum wow. thingamajig. <laughs> That's so Yo, crazy. Look, it's like... It reminds me of Ivan Ooze, bro. Like, that, the Power Ranger villain. From back in the day when they made their first yeah, movie, the and it's like, was Ivan it's legit. He was purple. Like it's it's heavy. Yeah, you know that's, that's sick awesome. though. <laughs> so when I first opened the box, I was like, "What is this?" And uh, very cool. And then me, I just put the shoe aside for a while. And then, <laughs> oh wait, in my head I was like, "This one already released, so I can take my time taking photos." Then I realized, oh no, it's releasing Friday, and we're Wednesday. I'm like fuck! I gotta, I gotta produce content and try to get it done by Friday. Oh shit! Release day, and especially with that packaging. Exactly. Yeah, you know, the like crazy. And uh, my whole thought was uh, Thursday. I, Thursday, I'll shoot. Thursday, I'll take uh, pictures. Uh, I made the decision to eat like a huge lunch Thursday, uh. like burgers, puts in, and go. I went. Mm. I went in. And after that, I had the itis. So I did oh, not boy. shoot Thursday. <laughs> so Friday morning was it. But I said, man, I'm going to be scrambling. Let me at least figure out what type of shot I want to do. And I headed to uh, Canadian Tire, mm. which is a just a, just this cool store here in Canada that kind of sells a bit of everything. Yeah, it's mostly a hardware store, like a hardware, hardware, uh, hardware but they hardware also store, have but like everything else, everything, <laughs> like everything kitchenware. Else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was looking for like uh, thick rubber gloves. I was looking for uh, lights, like of uh, specific colors, like um, green or purple. And I found this these green incandescent light bulbs. So like perfect. Oh, nice. So I bought one of those. I bought the gloves. Uh, and then I headed home and I was just basically I had a table. I had this oil drum thing going on and I had like a, like a, a lamp, like a table lamp, but I took the, 
whatever that cover off and i just put the green light bulb on and i was just positioning it under the table in different ways or reflecting off the wall the white wall to give like a green hue behind the drum and uh yeah i like the way my photos turned out so i'm pretty happy with that same what i uh, they were nice very nice what i did like is the the rep from puma because i tagged him in it of course uh he replied to me are you kidding me and that that made me feel good so nice <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. should have been like yeah someone else did these just kidding you shouldn't have done that yeah <laughs> <laughs> i commissioned them <laughs> yeah. um but yeah so i got that pair very happy they're, they are i agree with, Cal, um, with alvin they're like very good though. the mb3 is a nice design you could do a lot with the colorways yeah and then i also um received another pair of kobe 8 halo hello hello um, this is the size 10 that I will be trading for a 10 and a half tomorrow. So there you go. Nice. Um, this, this is my reasoning behind grabbing so many of these Kobe 8 halos. Right now, the resell is about 2x of retail mm-hmm. in different shops. And looking at what else is coming out from the Kobe line, I think that the other releases are going to be worth a lot in terms of resell. Like a lot, a lot. Like anything that has the word Grinch in it, like reverse Grinch is coming yeah. out, that's going to be stupid when it like goes to resale. And all the other pairs, like a Kobe 4 is always like really sought after. So I I don't know if we'll see another Kobe in a 2X range price-wise when uh, it resells. So I've been having a discussion with uh, a buddy about these Kobe's. He just recently po- purchased a, another pair as well. Because we're we're convincing each other that this is a sound investment. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where we're at with that. So I'm happy. Uh, I have, quote unquote, enough pairs now that I can uh, wear a pair on court. So I'm happy with that. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's it for a new edition. How about let's go on uh, flooding our feeds real quickly. Uh, the Dorn Becker collection releasing this December. Can can we do a little uh, exercise here? And uh, y'all know how to spell the word Dorn Becker, but how many ways is there to mispronounce this word? Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. Do earn better. <laughs> <laughs> do earn better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something close to it, like Dorn Bacher. Dorn Bacher. Dorn Bacher. Yeah. yeah. Old Bacher. Yeah. I forget what I even used to call it. I used to call it something, something else. Like, yeah. or else I'd just say, like, I don't even know what that word is. And then I heard my, uh, my American buddy say it. And he was like, Dornbecker. And then I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, no, like since, and since he was like American, I knew that was the proper way to pronounce it because there's no way an American's going to say like Dornbecker looking at that. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, with like straight English or whatever, I'm like, oh, that's how you say it. And like everything, so and I'm funny, so happy. Because at that time, like I, I really loved the threes and I didn't even know how to say it. Like do do in backture. Like mm, yeah. I remember <laughs> us referring them to as a DB a lot. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we say stayed away from the whole yeah. word. DB. The DBs. DB threes. Yeah. Oh, that is what I used to call them too. Yeah. I yeah, think so. yeah. TV3s. Sounds about right. Yeah. Do it on Becher. Thanks, because I was, I was yeah, trying to think investors. of what did I call them, and I couldn't think of what I did call them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Well, yeah. Did you guys get a quick look at the collection? Yeah. Yeah, the Air Max ones are my favorite, I think. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, they're dope. I, lo- I really like the ACGs. Oh, yeah. Those are clean, too, bro. Super for sure. Dope. I mean, I I like the yeah Jordan three, uh, yeah the threes are, and I'm spot and biased, but yeah, <laughs> but Air, yeah, but yeah, the, Air yeah. Max, the Air Max ones are really nice too, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're looks, all they're, they're all they're all nice. They're all dope, man. Yeah, they're all nice. Yeah, I agree. They're all nice, but those are my top three: is the uh, ACG, the Air Max, and mm. the uh, Jordan three. Mm. I don't know how they're gonna release them. <laughs> I know that in the past they've done. Uh, 
an auction on eBay or whatnot, and then mm. they let people bid on them, and all the proceeds go to the uh, Thornbecker Foundation. Is that what yeah. you call it? Yeah. Very cool. I like I like this uh this little uh, um, what do you recall? Yeah, good for the hospital, good for the kids. Yeah. Um, very cool to, that they were able to design them themselves. Yeah. All right. And next you Jordan three white navy. Nice Georgetown. <laughs> Yankees. Yeah. Yankees. All the Yankees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Yankees. You like I it? love navy on sneakers. <laughs> Say again. I love navy on sneakers because you don't see it a lot. Mm. It's true. It's true. Yeah. 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 So I, I personally like these. Yeah, they're very nice. I like I it. Fire red three color blocking with the navy mm-hmm. instead of red. It's very nice. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Clean. Jordan three times. Yeah. Uh, Jordan eleven gratitude. Uh, I'm just putting this one back in there because it's. I think it's. We're nearing. We're November. Yeah. We're November. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that means next month, this Jordan 11 Gratitude is releasing. Sean. Christmas drop. I believe today you posted a picture of you wearing cool gray 11s. I did. And I think your caption mentioned that there's no way to take a bad picture of Jordan 11. Yeah. Yeah. I feel differently about that. Like, yeah, I, I'm, look, I've I'm always looking had... at these pictures. I, I feel differently now. <laughs> yeah. I, I've always had issues shooting uh, Jordan 11. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the way I lace them. Mm. And then, like, it's not a, it's kind of like a sh- pointy, sharp shoe, but it's kind of mm. not at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's an it's angle. The, it's the angles. It's all about yeah. the angles. Yeah. All the angles. Yeah. I think this, you got to, like, come down on it a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this person had all the wrong angles, apparently. On this. That, that's it. So I don't know. Yeah. It's uh... no offense to whoever took the pictures. But... <laughs> <clears throat> the running eleven gratitude. Do we know what color the uh, jump man is going to be on the tongue? On the tongue? Yeah, there is, is a there jump man on the tongue. Oh, well, no, on no, the, no, the mid, the mid yeah. section of the tongue. It's, you know, it's gold. Oh. It's gold. Yeah. gold. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's 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 basically the uh, DMP, but yeah. with subtle changes. That the outsole mm. is different, and the, the obviously the upper is different, but it's not mesh. Instead, it's some leather instead of mesh. But it's I I I love them. Yeah. Yeah. Is the, is the outsole like kind of vintage? I think it's like I think a it's pre. More, yeah, well, I don't know if it's pre. Yeah, maybe pre vintage. It's a bit yellowed. Yeah, it's a bit yellow. Maybe you're right. I was gonna say it's just like more milky looking than mm-hmm. than uh, clear, but yeah, yeah maybe, it's definitely maybe like not translucent for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. I like them. Uh, whatever, I'll get one pair. They're great. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, the problem is here that they're so expensive here in Canada. Like they're expensive dollars. in the states too, but it's like two ninety five, like three twenty. Oh, it's two ninety five plus tax. Damn, that's still plus a lot. So it's over three with a tax. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so it's not even a pair of Jordan One Low eighty fives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only pay those prices for Jordan One Low eighty five. Exactly. So that's what I'm and, saying. And uh, Concord Lows. Yeah. Yeah. Con- Concord Low Air Jordan Ones. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> four hundred. Well, those are worth four hundred. Um. <laughs> If there's a bezel, I'm gonna definitely uh, try definitely. to get them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. What's uh, did we ever talk about this? What's your favorite Jordan Eleven colorway? Calby? Anyone? I don't know. My don't mine was the Concord. I uh, I the Concord was a grail of mine for my uh-huh. entire childhood. Um, I had them. I had them for a long time, and uh, I got a trade that I couldn't refuse, so I traded yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then. Yeah, I kind of regretted it. And these I like too because they were getting a little bit yellow on the mesh, uh-huh. like Concords. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, especially I think away. on like the lace, the lace loop kind of part mm-hmm. of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And um, so now, yeah, seeing these are leather and stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Okay, look me yeah. up. Um, Alvin, your favorite colorway? Do you remember? Did you... Yeah, it's, you it's definitely something? the the Concord slash DMP. Yeah, just because like ever since I've I've seen them, I'm like, yo, I'm getting married in those, and then I got married in them. Yeah. So, you know, and they're just honestly, man, like they're just so good, bro. Yeah. 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 Like that color blocking. Like I love all the other like Space Jams. Obviously, like I love the Space Jams and all the other colorways, but it's just like, mm. 
Yeah. The Concord, man. It's yeah, just, the Concord. You, know? you can't go wrong with the Concord. Yeah. It's, it's too classic looking. There was a time yeah. when Space Jam was my favorite. That was your shoe, yeah. All time favorite. Yeah, yeah. Dude, this guy had like 20 pairs that. of them. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> if you ask me today, I'd probably say Cool Gray. Cool oh. Gray. Uh, cool Gray. That's a good, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Cool Gray, I went. It was my first huge purchase online, like huge. I paid a lot of money back in like 10 years ago or yeah. something. <clears throat> and I just had to have them. And it was the 2001 that I paid oh, okay. a lot of money for. Mm-hmm. It was a DS pair on eBay. And I just, Please. I just you went for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I never wore them. I loved, I loved how clean they look. Yeah, yeah. True. No, that's the that. a lot of the comments were exactly that on my post today. It was they that was the their favorite colorway of all the Jordan Elevens, mm-hmm. and a lot of people said they had multiple pairs in their collection and couldn't bring themselves to wear them because they're too nice. <laughs> so smooth, very. Smooth. I'm telling you, there's like five or six people said this that exact that exact thing. Mm. <clears throat> they're my best. What friend. is yours, Sean? Just for the record, it's Concord. The Concord is my favorite yeah. color. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, Jordan Six Gore-Tex. It's Gore-Tex. Of course, it's Gore-Tex. November twenty nine. I think this is a women's exclusive. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it, but I like it. No. Yeah, I mean, plus Gore-Tex, bro. Like, you can wear that all winter. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad it at looks the like... color blocks, like the the color combos on this one. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. looks like one you could wear in the winter and fall. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. This one is supposed to be worn. That wheat. I like, the, I like the purple heads. That's it. Mm-hmm. Not too much, eh? Just no, just subtle. enough. Very subtle. Yeah, very good. Very nice. I like those. Very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one you've all been waiting for, J Balvin times Jordan Three Rio. Slated for twenty twenty four. Her name is Rio. So, uh, yes, the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we've all learned. <laughs> yes. Never question your Balvin, yes, guys. you like it now because later on you'll be foolish when you say you like exactly. it now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I literally ate my words last time. Yeah. <laughs> last episode. I was like, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's yeah, so good. Yeah. Like, the, like the white one is definitely <laughs> like, wow, very yeah. nice now. Yeah. Which I don't know. How, how we really like traveled across the rainbow. Like, no, yeah, we're all the way here. Yeah, none of us liked it when we first saw them. It was very dull looking. And then all, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, damn, those are nice. And it was it. What was it? We, we couldn't figure out what the story behind it was. And everything. yeah, like people, yeah. It, the listeners were it, schooling us. Left right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was all because of that DM. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh shit! Yeah. The DM. I forgot about the DM. <laughs> and I got a DM that I never responded to. I feel bad. If you're listening to who I can't remember who it was, but I feel like it was Brandon or something like that. But I don't know if it was or not. But uh, I I forgot to reply to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't done on purpose. I swear. Well, sign us up for that pair. Yeah, right? all four pairs, please. Right. That's it. Yes. Um. Ronnie Feig times New Balance 990 V6 Madison Square Garden. I don't know what mm. the official name of this pack, if you can call it a pack, is. He actually leaked, uh, not leaked, but like he, he he showed photos of the the two New Balance sneakers that are part of this uh, today. Yeah. And uh, Look, I know, Sean, you're a big uh, New York fan. Yeah. What do you think? Do you I, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's I, that's the, that's my problem. I, I I just need any kind of tie in to something that I'm I, I like, mm-hmm. something that I, I, I can connect <laughs> to personally, and then I'm in. So anything New York, I'm in. Yeah. yeah uh, do, right. Have you seen the box? I have not seen the box. No. Well, the box it. says okay. Madison right, I'm going, I'm Square going Garden it. right on it. I'm going to look oh. at the box. I'm going to look at the box. Oh, you're Hold in on. now. You're yeah, in. Does, do you, if, does it come with that bag, that tote bag or something? Because that's I cool believe too. So. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Probably the dust bag, bro. Yeah, 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 just yeah. Throw the kicks in there, and then you're good to go. I think Alvin, you mentioned you like the lighter colored pair, right? Yeah, I do like that pair a lot because it's just got that hint of orange oh. that pops, mm-hmm. and it's just it's great. The 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 darker pair is nice too, but I don't see myself rocking that as much. Okay. Not that I'm gonna be able to get it in my hands on these, but. I don't know. Yeah, the Kith.ca, bro. It doesn't hey, just say bro, Madison Square Garden. I'm just going to go to the store. Hold on. It doesn't just say Madison Square Garden. That's that's the tile that's on the subway underneath Madison Square Garden. That's oh, how shit. deep that cut that goes. That's, oh. that's why I told you, look, I ain't oh, never been there. I didn't know that, but I knew, especially Damn. by the way it was written out. Yeah. 
Damn. We all know what's going to happen now, I think guys. Sean's in. This is a cop. I, I easily pay $137 in import fees for those. No, bro. <laughs> we don't need it anymore, bro. We have a .ca It's on now. .ca? Oh, shit. Well, it will be. Yeah. It should be. It will be when you could release. also just come to Toronto and we can line up together. Oh, okay. <laughs> get some brunch. Idea. Yeah. Get some go brunch. Get your, go get some your, brunch. Uh, when do get they your reservation at Sedell's right now. I mean, I, there's no date. I don't think there's, there's no a date because he just uh, showed the images today. You that know what nice. I was thinking? Uh, I don't know when this is because I, I don't I don't know the date, and it might be too far away for mm-hmm. it to be that. But it could be another Black Friday New Balance. That's not too far Ooh. away. That's like in that's two like, that's this what, month, like bro. Three weeks. That's this month, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but three weeks, three weeks tease is a quite a long time. Yeah, for Ronnie, that is true. it's like right, usually right. within two. But mm-hmm. maybe, maybe because mm. could be for people like me that when they tease it early and I don't like it and I keep seeing it and keep seeing it, it makes me <laughs> like it more. Because I'm really not a fan of the V6 at all. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> And I, I've, I'm not a huge fan of very light colored suede either. And I keep looking at that light pair, and every time I see it, I like it more. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. What what if it's like a, it's a beautiful pair? There's man. photos like of like Nas wearing. You them. need to see on foot, you know, bro. On court you need now. To see on are you foot, in? Are then you in? you'll you'll decide. I think. You know the thing is like, not it's not the garden, but I do have a Mets hat in the mail that's gonna go perfect with them. <laughs> like <laughs> it's or it's orange and blue. It's gonna <clears throat> match them absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Yeah. So, I yeah. like him. It's it's uh now it's, yo it's a whole different ball game now that there's kit.ca available. To yes, us. It is. Yeah. Super facts. Huge difference. Huge difference. Huge. Shipping like, is only ten dollars. Yeah, and where you would kind of have to anticipate like a sixty to one hundred dollar uh up fee for like the customs and the shipping. Now you don't have to worry about that extra fee like what you see on the screen is what you're gonna pay yeah that's uh, and that ten dollar shipping like might take a couple days to get out of the warehouse but once it's out it's gone like super fast. if they're shipping it from like toronto and it's going to montreal it's probably going to be there next day. day yeah i think it day. takes two days to get all the way to me in calgary yeah. Yeah. so Ooh. it's uh super fast shipping for 10 bucks is awesome man. very cool um, since we're in the topic of basketball, real quickly, real quickly, Skechers is entering the basketball sneaker uh, arena. Yeah, it wasn't until now that I knew it was Skechers, bro. I, when I looked at it quickly, it didn't like the the the, the top two pairs look like Jordans, mm, like Team Jordans, like a Team Jordan. Yeah, yeah. like a you know, yeah, like the Blake Griffin two. two. Yeah, look like the Blake Griffin. But like n- now, the S makes sense because they're Skechers. I thought it was just like another player yeah. shoe, but I, I mean, think cool. They have like Tyrese Maxey from the 76ers, Sixers, uh, Julius Randle. I think there's a third guy rocking these two. Um, yeah, Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann. Is that it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I uh, I can't get on board with it. I don't I know, know what it is. That one that's second from the top doesn't even look that bad to me. Like it looks pretty all right, but no. And like I can't do sketchers. I'm open for like new brands coming in and trying to grab a piece of this. And basketball sneakers is is like a different um aesthetic that you look at them. You know, like about it's not like a lifestyle shoe that you're looking at. You're looking at mm-hmm. a performance slash uh on court look type of shoe. So mm-hmm. you, different criteria for a basketball shoe you correct me if i'm wrong but that's how i see basketball sneakers and i i just don't i think the i know what sketches are and i don't see it I'm like i don't i'm not in hmm. that's that's my thing is that like sketches you you're doing great man you're a tremendous oh, company no. yeah you know what i mean like you, you do your thing and even though this isn't a lifestyle shoe if you're going to make a basketball shoe, you're opening yourself to our world and you're going to catch slander because you're Skechers. <laughs> the Skechers you know what I mean? That's the thing. Like, 
you, yeah. You're going to catch it, man. People are going to shit all over those. Nobody's going to want to wear those on the court because somebody else is going to be like, you got on Skechers, bro. I'm over here in my Jordans. I'm over here in my Dame 2 or whatever. You know what I mean? And yeah, you're wearing Skechers, fam? Like, whoever yeah. the names you just named, shoe? You know what I mean? Like, who's, <laughs> you know, who are they going to sign, man? Yeah. Jakob Pertl? Like... No, if Purtle starts wearing them, I'm done. I'm 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 hopping on you. Oh, <laughs> oh nice purple red Purtle, and white pair. Huh? my guy, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's solid. Um, I mean, yeah, he's okay. a solid player. Don't get me wrong; he'll kill me in basketball. He's got much more money than me, and probably gets way more girls than me. But I'm just saying, <laughs> probably he said, probably. <laughs> Damn, confidence probably. He might no. Probably. He might be. He might be married. <laughs> <laughs> he might be married. That's why I said probably. When has that ever stopped an NBA then? player, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's well, never I stopped mean, an NBA player. Come on now, hmm. let's be real. Yeah. I mean, he, maybe maybe he doesn't go for girls. Maybe him and Dwight is there hanging out. There you go. You never know, bro. Yeah. So then I'd get more girls than him. I tell everyone. I tell everyone. I get more but then girls he could than, just he could just be like, "Well, I get player. any and uh, more of anything else than you." I'd be like, like "That's where, fine." Where's man. the competition? Yeah, I'd be like, "You you win it all, man." But I get more girls than you, bro. His his name, <laughs> uh, it it it's 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 a cooler name. I like Tope. I like your last name, but it's Poitel. <laughs> You don't you don't yeah, know if you're yeah. saying it right. Poitel. No, you, yeah, and yeah. even the Jacob part is pretty Jacob, neat. Like, because it's like, oh it, no, no, not Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yisk. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um that's it for flooding our feeds. Um today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh a little something. Kind of Sean kind of mentioned this mm. when he was talking about his purchases and how you thought you didn't win the raffle. And mm-hmm. all of a sudden, some funds free themselves up yeah. for buying something new. Yeah. And uh, I recently went through a, uh, a cycle where I kind of spend on sneakers. And I, I use those payment plan things, right? The, the, the bezels and the Florinas, right? And um, so then I, 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 I like accumulate a balance that I owe to these payment plan things. And eventually I paid them off. I pay, paid them down. And once I paid them down, I'm like, well, here we go. We're, it's time to shop again. <laughs> Let's start yeah. a new cycle and fill yeah. these banks yeah. up again. Right? Yes. So there's a, there's a buying cycle that's involved in the sneaker world for me. I don't know if the same thing for you guys, like sneakers or anything adjacent. Do you feel there's a, a type of like a, a circle that goes around there? Well, I was in the exact same boat because not only did I make all these purchases uh, willy nilly and haphazardly, <laughs> uh, but I was I was exactly what happened. I had paid down my bezel and yeah. and and oh. my flarna and my flarna, uh-huh. and I was like, "Damn, it's I'm free to go. Let let me loose," and I let loose, and it, it bit me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, but I was I was like on a bit of a lull. Like I bought the last pair I bought, I think was the, were those Jordan eights, the playoff eights. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't purchased anything else after that. I don't know if that was when was that beginning of October, maybe. Uh, and yeah, and so I was, I was like feeling good. I was like paying down the bezel and the flarnas, and I was like, okay, I'm getting, I'm, I feel clean now. I feel clean. Yeah. And now I feel dirty. Mm. Again, way <laughs> very dirty. So mm. dirty. Yeah, um, that's that's where I've been at as well. Is that uh, that's when I was looking at. Because I was also looking at the uh, Bad Butt Bunny uh, campuses. They're on sale as Ooh, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and bro. I, I actually really like that shoe. Um, but then I was also like, <clears throat> am I just buying this because all my Florinas are cleared up? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's actually what got me to stop buying them is because I was like, the fact that I'm thinking about it mm-hmm. means I don't need them. Because yeah, if I nice. needed them, yeah. they would have been purchased already. Yeah. So I waited and even I think yesterday was the last day. And I even remember right. telling my friend, like, I was like, oh, I might buy a pair of shoes if they're still available after work. I'm still hmm. thinking about it. <laughs> and then um, and then I forgot <laughs> and woke up today and it's not on or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, I didn't get them. Well, good for me. I was pretty I'm actually proud of myself <laughs> to be like, yeah. I passed on something for like a week until something else comes out, even though I'm looking at 
three new hats I got was like two in the mail. And... Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, any anything for you, Alvin? Something like that. And I'll always add stuff to cart. Mm. But if I don't like, if I don't go for the checkout right away, I know I'm not gonna cop it. Okay. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like re- So what? My most recent purchase wasn't for me. It was for wifey for Christmas, just because like I think I had like that. Mm-hmm. Um, because of, uh, funny enough, because of a link that Chris sent to the group, <laughs> um, there was a pair of the. OG one lows and GS size that were on sale. And I was like, this is perfect. Like the perfect mm. Christmas present. So I like, I took that, put that on bezel. And then like, I had other stuff in the cart too, but I was like, whenever I have stuff in the cart, like if it's not something I know I'm going to wear often, I don't bother yeah. unless it's like a Jordan one or whatever. So it's just like, yeah, any, anything like I hesitate for myself. If, if I take too long to press that checkout, I'm not purchasing. I know for sure already. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty yeah. good. That's you're honest with yeah, yourself. That's good. Yeah. Um, uh, other cycles that I've noticed after thinking about it in the sneaker world is uh, mainly mainly like styles. Mm. So I didn't think this would ever come back, but the Nocta Glide that Calby and myself uh, picked up, and I think we love wearing, right, Cal? Hundred percent. Yeah, we chatted about this uh, many times. Um, it, it's like back in the day when you used to wear your basketball shoes out outside. Like that was the style, right? And like we kind of went away from that. It's become more lifestyle ish, right? Mm-hmm. But that Nocta Glide really feels like I'm just wearing basketball shoes outside. Mm-hmm. So I like that a lot. I think that's what's the main one of the main reasons I'm wearing them a lot. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. yeah me too. <laughs> I mean, I I, I like the, I love the like the Zoom Flight ninety fives mm-hmm. are uh, very nostalgic for me, and um, the fact that I could wear a super comfortable, cool new pair of them mm-hmm. is like, yeah, I like, yeah. That was one of the only two shoes I brought to, to Toronto. Hmm. I like that shoe a lot. Yeah. I don't know for you, Sean, because you're always wearing Jordans, and technically, it's not like they ever went away. Mm-hmm. Is- but I, but I, I, I flip around like I went on a bit of a streak recently where I was started wearing, which I usually do in the summer, but I didn't do as much of it in the summer for some reason. Uh, I was wearing a lot of Air Max, Air Tech Challenge lately, like a lot of more like regular like Nike tennis mm-hmm. or Nike running and stuff like that. Um, which felt good too, because it's like, I, you know, I do wear, I'm Jordan heavy as much as I'm uh, destroyed denim heavy. I'm also Jordan heavy in my rotation. Um, and so to wear like air tech challenge, air max nineties, air max ones, it felt good for a little bit there. I went on yeah. maybe a streak of like a week, week or two where I was wearing something different every day. And, uh, yeah, it felt good. It felt like refreshed. And then I went back to Jordan's again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine when you got those new Madison Square Garden. Oh, new damn, balance. the New Balance. <laughs> I need those. I need yeah, those. I need those. Yeah. Um, it's also the you know like along with the discussion we had about panda dunks last week, and how um, I don't know. We kind of follow trends, even like the non trends. Like okay, don't wear panda dunks. So no one started. No one is wearing panda dunks. But at today, I feel like. If you are into it, like your air tech challenge, I don't think you'll s- bump into someone wearing the same shoe at all. No, but I don't think anyone will would be looking at your feet and be like, "Yo, those are those are so like 1990s." Or yeah, that. yeah. So I think now's the the field is wide open for you to like. No, no, no. I'm just gonna wear this, and that's it. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. It yeah. Ha- it has been very wide open too, because even. Like for me, I'm not a huge Nike guy. Mm-hmm. And lately, I've been buying a lot of Nikes. Mm. Like I got two pairs of Noctas. I got two Air Maxes. Like I never had had an Air Max one before. Yeah, bro. And yeah. Uh, so it's like it's different. It's like yeah, I feel like you know wearing this shoe that nobody's gonna know what the hell it is. I I did this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like I like it. Like yeah. so. Yeah, it's cool like that. I think I think that is a thing that, like, I think I'm gonna regret not getting those vintage pandas. <laughs> <laughs> They're still there. They're still there, bro. The sales over though. 
Well, yeah, regular Black price Friday, Black on, Friday so. sales coming. Yeah, yeah Black Friday. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Um, I also noticed that I know I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I think IG is gonna switch up their algorithm again, mm-hmm. going away from videos or That's like what just, I heard. yeah, less important. Going back videos, to photos, kind of, of kind of yeah. like a mix of two now. Wow. And I'm like, Whoa, I've I gotta dust off the camera or something, you know? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> be excited to post a picture. Someone someone might like it. Yeah. You know, the other like day it. I was I looked at a hashtag and I don't do that too often. <clears throat> and it shows you top posts. Mm-hmm. And then you go to the filter, and the only other option is recent top posts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't even see like the recent posts, bro. It's bad. Yeah, so you can't even see the dude that's just starting out that yeah. posted that amazing post, whether it's no. a whatever it is, yeah. a yeah, reel, yeah. a it's photo, bad. a video, whatever it is. And it's amazing. And you, if I like, if I love this hashtag, I can't even find that guy's thing. Like that's mm. so stupid. Like, yeah, I I don't know what a person that's just starting on Instagram. How, how they view it all like this no no this is a video app this is when we started it was like oh it's a photo app yeah yeah and it's a video app yeah. but now what we're going away from video i don't know yeah i know like sean you've adapted a bit by doing your you like you walk up to the camera yeah people and then yeah i do like, some of those on feet kind of walk ups and stuff like that and um some of my old i i, I transfer my old you know throwback videos into reels mm-hmm. but i've noticed like n- those die quickly. The the, yeah. the on feet ones used to hit. They used to do pretty well. Now the the weirdest thing. Now the biggest thing on my page for the most part. I haven't done a comparison post in a while, but I the biggest thing that I post mm-hmm. now that they're the most successful posts I make are just MJ picks. They go crazy on MJ pick. I hmm. it'll the first day I post them, it'll be like maybe a couple hundred likes, and then all of a sudden, like days later, they start to kick in. Like four, four five, eight thousand likes on a on an MJ pick that I, it's like I've been posting MJ picks MJ picks on my page for years. Yeah, they, sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't, but not not. I'm talking maybe a thousand likes. This is like five to eight thousand likes on an MJ pick. It's like I don't yeah. I don't know what. So maybe that you're talking about the algorithm changing. Those still picks maybe are the things that are hitting now. And mm-hmm. um, I use an app to clear it up a bit because some of the pictures I get off Getty Images are like really gross and <laughs> blurry. <laughs> But pixelated. Uh, very pixelated because they're old. But uh, yeah, so I clear them up. But it's I don't know if that has something to do with it. But yeah, it's it's definitely something's changing with the algorithm. For the, the algorithm for sure. All right. Yeah. A cycle we can get all get on with. Mm. Yeah. L- let me ask you guys. Um, are you guys gonna rock skims underwear? I'll try them out. I don't know. It depends on the price too, bro. Because like. That's true. You know what I mean? I feel like Skims is going to be hella expensive. I'm I'm waiting. Like, um, you know how like they have the the bra with the built-in nipples? I'm waiting yeah. for the underwear with the built-in, you know. Ah, uh, uh, you know? Built-in oh. sausage. Yes. Yeah. I don't need I'm not, I'm not, I don't need a big sausage. Just a little point <laughs> a little pointy something. I don't know, man. Put a little something on it. Just a little something on it. Like a yeah. pocket. You just want a pocket to, a on it. to rest. Just, to rest. Just, I don't know. Just, you know, and it looks natural. Something that also looks natural, like I'm not wearing underwear. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Oh, you, true. You, you, you want to know a funny story? Uh, back in the day, uh, Le- Le- sorry, French people, uh, Le'Veon Rose. Mm. Okay. You guys know Le'Veon that brand? Rose, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we- they make like women's undergarments. Yeah. yeah. Um, they had a men's for a little bit. Yes, and uh, uh, my ex picked me up some a uh, couple different pairs. I still have one. One's actually quite comfortable, um, but uh, one of the ones was a quote. I'm doing air quotes right now. A push up pair. Oh, a pair. And it had. <laughs> what did it push it, up? It, it had a little like strap thing. Oh, oh what? Damn. Like, when you like button it up or whatever, it, it like <laughs> holds holds your dangle at a different angle. Oh, <laughs> bars! And I'm I'm guessing that those were like you're supposed to wear those that that pair with the uh, with the gray sweats. Ah, uh, <laughs> I hear that. Right. Okay, 
but yeah. um i cut it out it was very uncomfortable uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh you 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 just want like immediate access to whatever someone wants access to you you cut a hole no 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 i just cut the straps out i cut the straps out because wearing it or not wearing it it was a strap in your underwear yeah and it was mm. it wasn't cool that doesn't sound comfortable either bro yeah no it wasn't at all yeah. but uh yeah yeah all right. that was funny i mean maybe I'm trying skin to skin, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to skin, man okay okay i need a butt lift i hope i hope you know what i mean i, I suffer from white man ass and mm. uh i'm i'm hoping i can yank those up there and maybe give myself a little derriere i see <laughs> <laughs> you you've gone french twice speaking about underwear <laughs> you know derriere anything else boys i think that's good yeah, yeah. any shout outs no all right no, that I'm was not. a great Everybody show thank you audience out. for joining us once again you can download and listen to the Sneaker Podcast anywhere podcasts are broadcast. Sean, why don't you tell the people where they can find you on social media? At Scholar 23 and at OG Support Group. Shout out to the OG Support Group. Cal, where can people find you? You can find me at Just Kelby and at Traffic Boys. Shout out to Traffic Boys. And Alvin, where can people find you? You can find me at Mr. Qmart and at Canada Got Soul. Shout out to Canada Got Soul. And you can find myself at Christopher.chu. Be sure to follow us at the sneaker podcast big shout out to our sponsors sneaker logic and kuala t one love all the sneakers peace peace peace